on, boys. Looks like we got some snow out here tonight. Very nice. Diesel's very excited. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. You know, light dusting of snow this morning. I'm not sure if we're expecting a lot, but I know we are expecting temperatures to drop real soon. So maybe this is just the beginning. First the snow, then the cold. Chevy, we have been given a job, a meaning, a purpose. I know, it's big. We need to hang this sunflower up there. And we will make mom very, very happy. Okay, so I need you to move over there. Go on out that way. All right, I'm gonna, I already got the nails up in there, so we're gonna see if this works. Okay, she painted this, so. Okay, there, there, there we go. Don't let, don't let it fall. I'm trying to do this with one hand, my left hand, of all hands. Okay. Is it centered with the dresser? Dresser, it's dresser, it's too high. Is it too high? Is it good? Oh no. We need to get her approval now. I think it's too high. Let's see what she says. Brett. I think we did a good job. Brett. Let me know what you think. Wow. Like, wow. Good wow, or wow, like, oh, wow. Wow, like it got wrecked. What? Not from you. Oh, thank God. Obviously. Yeah. That's upsetting. What happened? Oh, look at that. But is that a good height, though? Yeah. Can we, can we get that off of there? There's a line on there. What's that from? It's probably from this, I'm guessing. Yeah. <sighs> well, guys, it's uh, right in the middle. I don't know how that mark got there. I don't. I don't think I did that. But the mark right there was done by this here when we put it behind there at first. And that was upsetting for her. Chevy, what did you do? Don't you me. I can't even reach that high. All right, me and you got to get our story straight, okay? We're going to blame this on Big Frank. Okay? Yeah, I like that idea too. No one believes his stories anyways. He's crazy. He's all over the place. It was probably him. Oh, there's a bunch of dogs in this room. What's going on? All right, children, come on. It's been snowing out. Wiener, don't get stuck. You gotta wait for the door to open first, every time. All right. Oh, oh frozen, wow. Wow, must be a little cold out here. Look at this, look at this. Go all the way in the yard, little guy. All the way in the yard, no more peeing in front of my house. There you go. You too, get in there. No, you go all the way in the yard, buddy. Come on, go. No more peeing in front of the house. Diesel, in the yard, come on. Come on, man, in the yard, in the yard, in the yard. There you go. Look at this. Isn't this fancy? Wow. Finally, we were getting worried that it was gonna be a brown Christmas. Nope. The snow came right on time. And this room has been driving uh, us both nuts, and by us, I mean Brett. <laughs> I don't like it, though, either. It is, it's bad, right? And it's mostly all my stuff. That's mine. Th that's mine. That is not mine. That is ours. But all of that closet is mine. And uh, we need to uh, spend the day clearing this out, making it better. So here's my plan. Hear me out. my plan i think i may have talked the wife into it i don't know we still got some talking to do 
I think this area looks very cluttered as well. Even when I uh, tuck my chair in, that's how I usually have it, right? And because of my live streams, I have that all set up, the wheel, my headset there, and it's a lot of work to disassemble it all, put it away every single time and take it out again. So I like to leave it set up, but it leaves this whole area filled with wires. My pedals are down there, wires are strung out all over here. It doesn't look very uh, professional. This is where I do all my editing as well, which reminds me this open water bottle should not be by my $3,000 laptop. In my bad. But water is good for you. So what I wanna do is I wanna move all of this into that second bedroom. And that'll work better for me when I'm streaming because when I'm streaming, I have this camera set up here like this, right? It's got a little ring light on it. It lights up, it lights me up here. But everything in the background here is in the stream, right? So when I stream, which I'm gonna be doing Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on my second channel at 4.30 p.m. Central Time, when I stream, I shut down this entire house. Because when I'm streaming, we can't be watching TV there. Uh, I've got a minimal activity behind me here so that there's not a bunch of distractions behind me. If there's a little bit, it's not a big deal, but I mean, I don't want the dogs wrestling and stuff all the time. And it, it sort of wrecks what I'm talking about on the stream, I, I guess, I don't know. I, I just like to have a clean background. And that doesn't work because I'm streaming. So I shut down this whole house and Brit is, you know, banned and banished all the way to the bedroom over here to watch TV over here. That's not really fair. Though she says she doesn't mind because she's a nice person. That's questionable. Uh, she says she doesn't mind, but still, what if she has family over? What if she has friends over? Like once all these lockdowns are gone, we can have our family over to visit again, like normal people. I can't shut down the whole house to do my scheduled stream. So what I wanna do is I wanna move this whole thing and just try it out. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. If it doesn't, I'll move it back. Now I'll move this in here. Spin this bed over here, put the stream and my whole uh, office corner in the corner here so that I have the natural light coming in off the light. I can look into the backyard, watch the dogs playing, and this will all be cleaned up. So that's the plan for today. I wanna switch things around again, see if we can make it look better. Cause then this room, it'll force me to clean up all of this mess organize this room. This room will look organized. Out in the living room will look more organized because it doesn't have all my wires and everything all over the place all the time. It should be a win-win. But I have had a plan or two in the past that I have devised that has totally blown up in my face. Britt's been busy all day, draping herself in all the blankets of the house. <laughs> anyway, so that's, that's my project for today. I wanna see if I can move this whole system over and that's it won't take too long but it'll uh be a little bit of effort what do you guys think that way i have a dedicated room to get all my work done and i also notice that when we're here in the evenings i'm not supposed to be working but i find myself and Britt has found me over there at the computer quite a bit when i should be on the couch just enjoying family time so i'm thinking if i put the workstation in a separate room I won't be tempted to leave the couch to go check on things and stuff like that as much. That I can just be here instead and not have my eyes over there, right? Because I have a habit of always checking on things, checking the stats, seeing how the video's doing constantly. So I need to have a time where I, I, I shut down and say, now it's family time. And if I keep it all in that room over there, maybe it'll work. I don't know, let's see. It's a very small house, that's the thing, right? So this is our whole living area here. That's the whole thing. And we love it. It doesn't need to be any bigger. How was it out there, buddy? Oh, you're all wet. You're covered in snow, both of you. Yeah, the floors need to be Oh anyway. dear, you're gonna smell like wet dog. Finally, I'm gonna smell better than somebody. Uh, all right. it's up for debate. It's up for debate. Oh, it's a little bit of a different sight out here today. Woo! Man, it's been snowing all day. I love it. You know why I love it? Because I don't have to drive in it today other than here. And this vehicle is a tank. It's got the winter tires on it. It's all wheel drive. This thing, there's nothing that can stop it. Nothing. Whoa! That was fun. That was fun. 
So yeah, we got a little bit of winter weather here finally. It's starting to look a lot like Christmas. What do you say there, Mr. Ford? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, it's definitely looking more like Christmas. The drive through at A&W today apparently is doing just fine. Not having a &W today. We actually don't eat that stuff every day. It's just when we do, I like to film it because it's a special event and it doesn't happen that often. Hey, I'm just running running some errands today before we go back. Then I'm going to start uh, rearranging the house a bit. So a big monumentous landmark ruling has just been passed in our great city. Steinbeck shopping is now allowed on Sundays. What is this town coming to? Sundays. So with that being said, today is Sunday. Let's go see what's open. I'm pretty sure nothing's gonna be open because uh, they still left it up to the individual businesses whether or not they want to open their doors on Sunday. And a pretty traditional town that we live in here. Sundays are a day of rest and not a lot of people will work on Sundays. You, you'll, you might be, it might be pretty hard to find someone who will work for you on a Sunday, uh, depending on what kind of industry you're in and stuff. But you know, maybe it's, uh, we're moving along here, we're moving along. You know, becoming just another town, another city, indistinguishable from every other town and city in the country. We pride ourselves on being different here. So, I guess we, we took a hit, we took a loss, we're becoming like everywhere else. But yeah, apparently now they are legally able to open their doors for business on Sundays, which was not allowed before. I don't know if it's passed yet. I know, or they passed it, I don't know if it's in practice yet. Guess we'd have to wait and find out, but yeah. What is this town? What is this town? All the youngsters, I tell you what. Oh, shopping Sundays. Who goes shopping on Sundays? Besides everybody. I mean, honestly. You know, I bet you I could tell you one store that'll be open. The Liquor Mart. I bet you anything they'll be open on a Sunday now. <laughs> I remember when we got the liquor mart here in town. It was it was a big deal. This is this was a dry town for probably well over a century. It was a big deal. Now they're letting them sell their stuff on Sundays. Oh no! Looks like they're closed. It looks like they're closed. Let's see. They haven't changed their hours yet. Sunday, closed. Eh, okay, well. <laughs> I crack jokes about it to try and be funny now, but in all honesty, I am I I was totally on board with the no shopping on Sundays, because to me, I do believe that it's a day of rest, but I also believe that people should have their own personal choice. If you want to open your business on a Sunday, who am I to tell you not to, right? I'm sort of like the kind of guy that's, that I like that Steinbeck's different that way. I like that the whole town shut down on Sundays one day a week in respect of the day of rest. I really like that. That's something that made us different and unique from pretty much the entire country. And uh, now they went and overturned that and I guess they pressured it, pressured the government here in town to get it done. But if that's what the people want, I mean, I'm a very libertarian minded kind of guy. That's what, that's, that's the big news in Steinbach today. Sunday shopping. From a strictly business standpoint, yeah. If you close, if you force businesses to close down on a certain day of the week if you force it by law well then all of the people here are going to take all of their little paper rectangles and they're going to go give those paper rectangles to other businesses in Winnipeg 45 minutes away because they're still open on Sundays right so the people who need those paper rectangles here in town don't get them and they lose them to other people who steal them from them because they're allowed to be open it's not really stealing right it's so I understand the argument I kind of, I'm a traditionalist myself. I kind of like being a little different than the rest of the country, like I was saying. But I totally understand the economy side of it, the financial side of it. People also need to work more now because of the pandemic. They need hours. They need to support their family. They want to be able to work. Totally get it. So you know what? I am neither here nor there, neither yay nor nay on it. I abstain. I don't know what's going on, so... Maybe I'm more Mennonite than I thought I was. You know, I used to always think that I'd be really involved in government and what they're doing. But when it comes down to it, I'm very Mennonite and very libertarian about it. I'm like, all right, you know what? You do you over there. Do what you want to do, okay? But me over here, don't bug me. 
stay out of my way, stay out of my life, don't tread on me. You can have all the freedoms in the world that you want, but when they start encroaching on my personal space and my personal liberties, that's where they end. You know, so you do you over there, I'll do me over here. Let's leave each other alone, let's be nice to each other, let's be kind to each other, let's love each other, help each other out. Well, let's not give each other a hard time when we choose to live differently. That's a very Mennonite way of looking at it. And the more I grow up, the more I realize, huh, my heritage is more a part of me and my fabric of my being than I thought. I thought that I wasn't very Mennonite at all. I don't follow the culture. I don't wear the suspenders. I don't, I don't wear the Mennonite garb. People just assume I'm just a regular old Canadian, which I am. I'm just a regular Canadian. I'm just like anybody else. But... I do have that Mennonite heritage and that comes with a very libertarian mindset where we just want to do us over here and let you do you over there without without the government stepping in and interfering with either of us, right? They're just supposed to be there to protect us from foreign threats and make sure that all the bills are paid and make sure that everything balances out, right? They're just there to overlook everything, make sure nothing falls apart and they keep the peace between the different groups in the country. Many different ethnic groups in the country. They're just supposed to be there to make sure everything keeps running smoothly, right? When they start getting involved in your personal life, that's when I start getting, mm, get out of here, go back to Ottawa. Get out of here, this is my life. Leave me alone. So when it comes to Sunday shopping here in town, I don't have a problem with it, honestly, personally. It is what it is. All right, we have the wardrobe out here without a single ding that I put in it this time. <laughs> Just the other couple times. The other couple of times. When we moved into our last place, Britt was mad about this for at least two years. I'm still mad about it. Yeah, and she's right here, so I just brought it up. So that was smart. Really smart. So we got it out here. That is going to be going there. That's where we keep all our blankets and stuff, like what we got on the couches here. Every evening we sit down, we watch a movie, and we always got to go way to the back to get our blankets. Now they'll be right here. So maybe we... Way to the back? All the way to the back of the Where's house. five steps? It's a long house. <laughs> it's at least six steps. Okay, six. I'm sorry, I exaggerated. <laughs> Five. <laughs> so I just tested out the internet speed at the all the way to the back here and we should be okay in here because we're a little further away from the Wi-Fi now but fingers crossed streaming will still be good let me get that that's an antique which is probably like 120 years old or something 100 years old it means a lot to Brit that's gonna go out in the main area as well I don't know about that we're gonna figure it out uh, by we I mean I'm gonna figure it out, it's my job. This bed is gonna turn this way, and it's all gonna look great, you'll see. There will be a happy, a happy, there will be a happy wife at the end of this video. She will be smiling. Does she look like me? I hope so, <laughs> I hope so. If not, we'll find one. Find a happy wife somewhere, just to put at the end of the video. She can't come in though, because it's COVID. <laughs> Okay, we gotta keep moving stuff around here. I gotta Why charge you guys, guys up. Right in the of the hallway? They do that all the time. <gasps> I wanna make sure you don't forget about me. We're right here. They think that we're moving again. Yeah. Chevy's blocking the door. No! No more moving! So we got an empty corner there now. That's where this wardrobe's gonna go and this little table here. And we got the desk in the back here. Now I've been debating whether or not to have it there or there. This seems to be the winning choice so far. I like it here. You like, you like it there? That's where all the magic will happen. The YouTube magic. The YouTube magic. Not the other magic. That's the other room. <laughs> but I'm gonna put myself on here. we embarrassed ourselves. <laughs> Now I've got to clean up the rest of this because I told Britt that if she would help me switch this around, I was going to organize all that. This on over to where it's supposed to be. New home. <laughs> 